Welcome to ARC 142, Architectural CAD 2, Plans and Elevations. You must successfully complete ARC 141, Architecture CAD 1, prior to taking this class. Whether you are registered for this class in person, as a hybrid blended class, or as an asynchronous online course offering, you will have access to the instructional content in both PC and Mac iOS platforms. This class is supported by an interactive ebook published by Kindle Hunt Publications. A link to the ebook will be provided to you through the Canvas course. The ebook contains many resources for helping you navigate learning AutoCAD. The Kindle Hunt ebook resources include an academic and professionally contextual approach to learning AutoCAD through written text, interactive questions and prompts, videos, and video transcripts. You will have access to industry-specific graphic examples, CAD drawings and templates to help you get started, and weekly agendas to help keep you on track to finish the course on time. The lessons for this course will have deadlines attached to help you understand how to pace yourself. By providing a weekly overview of the entire course at the onset, it is our goal to help you achieve a healthy work-life balance. The teaching philosophy for this course has been loosely based on Graham Wallace's four stages of the creative process. Even within technical software, there's a process of creative learning that occurs. We begin with a concept or a mental image of something that we wish to define. Maybe the beginning concept is a design problem to be solved. How do we derive a tangible solution? This class seeks to help you execute design solutions through a computer-aided drafting software program called AutoCAD. There is an AutoCAD version for both AutoCAD PC and AutoCAD Mac, which you can find on the Autodesk website. Free full versions of the AutoCAD software are available to students enrolled in CAD classes at higher education institutions. During the first week of this course, you will be instructed to download and install the version of AutoCAD that corresponds to the computer you will be working on. If you are taking this class in person or as a hybrid blended course, then a computer on campus has been provided for you and the software is already installed. In week two, you will follow the Kindle Hunt chapter for setting up AutoCAD user preferences in the chapter entitled Navigating and Setting Up AutoCAD. It is important that you understand where you need to customize AutoCAD to reflect the architecture and interior design industry standards. AutoCAD serves a variety of different professions, many of which have vastly different AutoCAD settings. In addition to setting up industry standards, the Navigating and Setting Up AutoCAD chapter walks you through personal settings configuration, such as graphic interface and color preferences, the size of AutoCAD pick box and crosshairs, I will also point out which selection methods I teach to in my videos and how you can set up your preferences to match mine if you think that's something that you want to do. It is during week three that we begin our review of ARC 141, the first level of CAD. Beginning in week six, if you're following along with the class agenda pace, you will be working on the residential project you will have a choice of finishing the Gatekeeper's Lodge or one of the bungalow estates. Both projects are two levels and in the arts and crafts style of architecture. The intention of this project is to create a set of drawing sheets that define the scope of the project to be built. For a full list of drawings in this course, consult the course objectives in Canvas or in the Kindle Hunt publication under Graphic Standards. I look forward to working with you in this course and I hope you enjoy the journey.